turned out to be another spectacular day in the sun here on historic Steamer Lane in Santa Cruz. I'm Jim Pace reporting from the 1990 O'Neill Pepsi Cold Water Classic, brought to you by O'Neill, first name in the water, and Pepsi a generation ahead. This hour's report sponsored in part by Portino's TV, Video, Stereo, and Defiance in Hollister. Round one of the international trials is now concluding with the top two qualifiers going on to this afternoon's second round of this $135,000 event, the largest surfing event on the United States mainland. Something for our listeners to remember if you're here watching the action and need to make a phone call, GTE Mobile Net Cellular Communications has a golf cart with two cellular phones on it parked next to our broadcasting trailer, and you're invited to use them free of charge. Our thanks to Tim Loomis of GTE Mobile Net for that service. The weather's just terrific, the surf is getting better, so come on over to Steamer Lane and enjoy yourself. This is Jim Pace reporting for the official Monterey Bay radio station of the 1990 O'Neill Pepsi Cold Water Classic, Oldies Radio, 93.5 FM, KHIP. Don't stop, stop! Surfers, out of the water, please. You guys that are sitting out there waiting for a wave, please start paddling to the point around the corner or into the beach and out to that water level. We ask that you exit yourself out of the competition zone immediately. Thank you very much. Your cooperation is very much appreciated by O'Neill and Pepsi with O'Neill Pepsi Cold Water Classic. And what a classic it's going to be today. So this is pretty early. I mean, this is before breakfast, right? Yeah. We're talking like This is like just crawling out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't, don't you guys work or anything or what? No, we don't I believe well. in it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're at school? Yeah, that's right, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you're coming down here at this time of morning to watch, right? It's not that warm, right? No, it's not that warm. So you must be pretty keen fans on surfing. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Right. So listen, these are the ladies surfing out here right now yeah. that we've been talking to. You're obviously down here for the guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, me and all these girls surf. Right, what, all these, surf. what are these girls' names? Where do you live? We live here. Where's here? <laughs> in Santa Cruz. We live in Santa Cruz. Um, this is Laura Anderson. <laughs> Laura Anderson sounds like a film star. Right. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Aaron Gallagher. Right. Who's this here? Julie, Julie Melissa, Heather, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> it's the BBC in England, right? So we don't know anything about surfing, right? So we want to know all about it. So that's what we're doing today. Right? Well, we'd love to show you, but right now these girls. Are <laughs> Confidentially come here. Get hover around this lens. What? Are there any horny girl surfers here or what? Yeah. 
Not that we know, or we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I turned professional when I was 16. I was competing in professional events before then. I went to Hawaii when I was 14. And um, so, I've, you know, I've been travelling for a lot of years, and I'm, I'm pretty used to it, I guess. But, um, you, you tend to team up with other people on the tour, too, as you... You know, they're your rivals and your peers, and they're also your support group. You have to kind of mix it all in together. So, uh, do you get into? Is it is it a party scene or is it a healthy scene? I mean, uh, it's healthy. I mean, as far as you know, I'm concerned. Anyway, it's um, it's a really healthy scene. There's there's some of the the men's crew more than the women's crew. I think they, they, there's a party element, of course, but um, <laughs> there's more of them, so you're bound to get the the oddball. So the girls, the girls are very respectful. Early to bed. Oh, you Whole know, we're, we're still, yeah, no, we're still pretty interesting, I'd say, but, you know, <laughs> respectable still, of course, you know. So what time do you go to bed before a competition? Oh, it varies. Like, last night was after midnight, but, you know, I don't surf this morning, so that's OK. All right. But, you know, generally whatever makes you feel good. Yeah. It's, um, there's no rules as long as you're, as you're prepared to compete. What else would you do as a career? As a career? Um... Well, I'm, I don't know. I haven't done a lot of other things in my life other than surf. I've worked for very small amounts of time, and all that does is serve to, to prove that I'd rather be surfing than working. We're going to catch us a surfer here, guys. <laughs> the elusive quarry. <laughs> you. Yeah, give us your name, fella. Mike Wentz, Santa Cruz local. Just Water patrol. Water patrol? Yeah. You mean you're not a professional? Yeah, I am, but I'd never tell anyone. Water professional water patrol. Hey, look at those muscles, girls. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I said. laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so this guy looks like a dude. Who we got here? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, you didn't even get the way or anything. <laughs> okay, we just got to follow you. Sexual harassment. <laughs> this is sexual harassment. Oh, stand. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we get a few words about a surf event? <laughs> no way, man. This surf's up, dude. <laughs> and when we surf, we didn't have wetsuits. These kids surf now, they do good. Of course, our boards, they weighed 95 to 100 pounds. They were planks, you know, or hollow boards. They were real big. That's it. It's the travel is the most exciting part. If you're mature enough to handle the travel and and uh, and all that, the travel and, and just the waves and and the camaraderie of all the all the guys on the tour. That's that's the reasons for going on the tour. It's not you don't go on it for money. If you want money, go play tennis or golf or something like that. You know, <laughs> it's just a love thing, sort of. I'm just I'm just doing this for you know for love. There, I'm not I'm under no illusion that I'm gonna retire when I'm you know 30 and live off my surfing. You know, I'm gonna have to get a real job someday, but I'm gonna do this as long as I can because I love it. I'm a pro athlete. Um, I don't party. I've never really 
fit in with the scene. You know, the other surfers on the tour, I've done my own thing, and um, I take it serious. I have a wife and three kids. I have to take it serious. This is all I do. I make a living by how I, my results are and the salary I make off of surfing. So um, I have to work out and train physically and mentally like any other athlete does. This show right short boy. Oh, good morning. What's it like out there? Oh, it's just like oh cold. Cold. <laughs> cold. Yeah. Are we from the BBC? Where are you from? I'm from Bondi, Australia. Can you give us your name? Hi, I'm Pauline Menzo, and um, I just surfed my first seat in the morning. <laughs> and um, it's the first round, and I just got through, and I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, what, uh, what are we going to do now? Going to get warmed up or what? Yeah, I'm going home and have a nice hot shower. So the heats continue to rock and roll, and the competition continues to be hot and heavy as the winner will advance in the 25-minute heats. The loser will be eliminated. As it looks like Grant Wilson in red. Like some guys from Hawaii, right here. Willie Grace and Kimo Moran. Hey, Eddie Murphy! <laughs> <laughs> Give us a big aloha. aloha! Aloha! To the boys back home. Right there. Kona, Hawaii. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Mom. What's up? like a professional. What do you do, madam? I'm Marty Thomas's mom. I don't know who that is and neither do people in England. Oh, Explain. really? Well, he's 12th in the world and his heat's coming up next and I'm over here from Hawaii videoing his heat. Can we buy some of your pictures? Um, no. They're strictly for training. They're not for sale. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Excuse me, ladies. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> right, these are a couple of California girls. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Of <laughs> We're very local. <laughs> <laughs> so you're from Santa Cruz? Uh-huh. Right, what, what are your names? Uh, what are our likes? What are your, what, give us your phone number. Oh, sure. <laughs> no, I, was told, I was told to go and interview California girls and get their phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you go going to find some young Ma ones. Manana. Stop. What, what are you saying again? That you're not supposed to be in here, that's what I'm what, Why am I supposed to be in here? Who because it's competitors only. Stop it. I, I am a competitor. No, Get not. me a surfboard and I shall go out there. We should get him a surfboard. Go and get a security man and we'll go. No. <laughs> Hi. Right. Listen, this place, this looks kind of dodgy. This? It says massage therapy. <laughs> we aren't the massage therapist. You're not the massage no. therapist. What do you do? No, what we're do just here? the cops. Just the cops. Make sure that only surfers go in. Only surfers. So the surfers yeah. have all the fun. Don't surfers they? and that man can go in because he's got the red color tag. No, he doesn't. No, purple. That's pink. You're from pink press. Sorry, you can't go in. <laughs> we're from England, but we're doing the interviews. So such... Great. Oh, you're interviewing. So can we sneak in here? No, no. you can't go in there. We can't go if in. you can get him to come out, that's okay. We can't but bribe you with money. No, no. <laughs> What's your name? What? What's your name? Emily. Emily? What are you doing, Emily? What's these things? Show us the camera. Show the camera. What are they? <laughs> turn them around. Turn them around. Let's have a look. God, you'll never get a job in TV. Get your haircut. <laughs> this is a real man's haircut. What'd you call that haircut? This is a uh, cold water classic haircut. Where'd you get that done? Uh, over on Bromer and 17th in Santa Cruz, California. Did you see the top of your head? Bend it down there. Wow, well, it's a real bright shade of red. Darn yeah, right it is. You're not in the Marines, are you? No, sir, I'm not. This is a civilian head. You see that? There's no stamp on there. <laughs> Howdy. How you doing? All right, what are you selling here? What are we selling? Sweatshirts, t-shirts, you name it. Sweat, stickers, we've got everything. What do you want? Let's see them. Let's see them. See them. Oh, we've got Junior's hats. Look at these hats. They're nice. Everyone likes these. Oh, and check out these sweatshirts. Well, actually, t-shirts. But here, I'll show you a sweatshirt. Here we go, sweatshirt. Nice, warm. It's the best. And sweaty. Whoa. Distilled water. How much are you selling distilled 75 water? 75 cents. 75 cents. Wow, 
It's got uh, non-carbonated, no sodium, no chemicals, no, half a litre. Looks like good water to me. Yeah. You want to try one? I don't think so. No? I like the chemicals. We have no junk food. I'm sorry. No, wait a minute. Yeah. This is this is an oh, athletic yeah. event. <laughs> no, we want to live forever. So show us, show us on the table. Point to some. What's what's athletic here? Fresh, okay, very fresh apple pie from Gloria's Bakery. Fresh fresh apple pie from Gloria's Bakery. Why has it got a hole in the middle there? <laughs> it's got to breathe just like you. All oh, right. Yeah. And, and, and if you eat this stuff, um, you get immediately uh, start surfing right away. It's a really? tremendous. Yeah. Okay. What, um, what's this? Uh, this are the ones this stuff is. Uh, you don't have to eat for a week. It's got enough energy in it. It's kind of amazing stuff. Lots of energy in it. Kudos. But these, these are peanuts. Got peanuts here. Let's yeah. see what else. Uh, uh, we got brownies over here. These are amazing. Yeah. This is America. Yeah, this this makes you surf yeah. as well. Yeah. This is a, a heavy addiction in America. We're trying to cure it. So it comes in from Colombia. So, uh, what's under this lid here? Uh, see the camera no. What's under that? What's that? These are great cookies. Chocolate uh, chip cookies. Or frisbees. Giant whatever you chocolate wanna. chip cookies. It looks like a frisbee. Yeah. And, stu and uh, chili over here. What is that? Chili. Tell us what this is, sir, in Spanish. <laughs> Esto está muy bueno. Oh, right. I understand that. That's very this good. is very good, yeah. But you look like you've been out in the sunshine today. Yeah, I've been walking around the whole ridge along here, all on the beach and the caves, and it's been pretty nice. Well, what did you do in the caves? I'm um, just exploring them just to see um, how far back they went. or it was... in, in history or in length? Well, I, I think about the history of the cave right. as I explore the length. Um, right. yeah, a little geologist, you know, we'll get into the, the rock strata and the sediments and the layers and layers. Of, Have you got any fossils in these caves? Uh, no, it's um, just hard packed mud type caves. So what, this, this, this thing you're eating here is a tie stick, right? Ah, uh, this is a tie stick. Mm. Not quite. Give look at some. that. Here, you see how I'm getting get it? Oh, look at that. Nice. Right. Got it. I say no. Mm, yummy. Mm. So listen, what? Uh, are you a mm. surfer? Mm. You just kind of like to be around the surf scene, yeah? No, I just came to see what was happening to you know, me. I'm more a woodsman. I'm head out in the woods and saw wood and have fires and I play the bongos along the night. It's very nice. Howdy, how are you doing? Great. Hi. Whoa. Are people behaving themselves today? Very much so. Yeah? No drink, no drugs, huh? Nope. If they get a drink, they get a ticket. Right. The Californians, are, uh, are they getting healthier? Oh, yeah. What does the ticket cost? What does the ticket cost? It's about sixty dollars. About sixty bucks. About sixty bucks. Yeah. Sixty bucks for a beer. It's about right. Yeah, but your beer over here's got no alcohol in it. Well, that's true. But <laughs> what can we do? We're not in Australia. My name is Karen Williams, like I say, I'm from uh, Swansea, South Wales, and I've uh, been the, car I'm the current European champion, professional champion, which I've held for the last two years, and uh, I'm on the world circuit, which is this circus which travels around to all, the <laughs> to all the events, well, around the world, I'm on my way around the world to compete against the world's best. So listen, how are you doing in this comp? Uh, I was knocked out in the trials. Well, you must be one of those nutcases that hangs out in the waves, yeah? Is this BBC? Uh, I'm not saying. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few of us out there. 
Yeah, so uh, you're hanging the water all day long. I mean, do, do you ever forget what you're doing and the, the guys just surf right into you and, you and you get punched out when they come out the water or what? Yeah, that's happened before. But yeah. Usually the guys go by and then the wave slams you and that's when you remember what you're doing. So what you got in this box? Show us the box. Uh, this is a Millican. It's a high-speed 16-millimeter rig that uh, shoots up to 200 frames per second. Wow. And that slows the action right down so everyone can appreciate what's really going on. <laughs> can we buy some of that footage of you? Uh, it doesn't belong to me, it belongs to Dynacom. Catch it on ESPN at a future date. What is it about and of course it's brought to you by O'Neill, the number one I think it's the, the uh, natural, the rugged, the inside, you know, nature, course, freedom thing. I think they, also you know, they, you they look at surfers as being Pepsi, just radical people. Pepsi. Pepsi, a and we are. Ahead. We are radical. You know, we have a lifestyle that's just like to tell you a few phenomenal. Here, when people see the way we live, they just go, yeah. And so please why not? How you doing? Right. Who's the DJ around here? Right here. Uh, actually, uh, Lamont is. Give us a bit of DJ. Where are you guys from? England. From England? Crank it up, baby. We've got some California rock and roll for you. What's that under your bottom lip? I've been seeing this on guys. Is this the, is this the current thing, yeah? yeah? It's a lip warmer. <laughs> what do you got? What's this on your uh, t shirt here? Um, it's an autograph from yeah. Tommy Curran. Can I buy it from you? It's his, so I can borrow it from them. Do so. you go surf groupies? <laughs> <laughs> sir, 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 are you Jack O'Neill? No, I ain't. <laughs> do you know where Jack O'Neill is? Uh, Jack O'Neill? Yeah. I don't what are you know. Doing? Yeah, he's probably over by that uh, yellow van over there. Mr. Jack O'Neill. Yeah. So listen, tell us. Uh, well you see all these kids out here. They all come to see your contest. That so makes you feel like a big granddaddy, I bet. Oh, this is great. <laughs> it's been a long time since we did the first one here. I think we did one of the first contests ever right here. Go, stop, stop!
Bloody too cold for me, I tell ya. <laughs> Off your bed home where it's bloody summer. <laughs> I love a guy up. named Tiglino and no, no, she, he's so rad. I, I mean, don't say that right now. They don't care. But okay, they care. This is my best friend, Eric Schwartz. This is Catherine Corpus. We love and, each other, uh, and we love Santa Cruz, and we love being here right now. It is thank just you for wonderful. Us. Marty, we met your mother the other day doing some videos. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. She's, she's down here rooting me on. Good, <laughs> big fan of mine. <laughs> So how are you doing in the competition? Uh, unfortunately, I just lost out to Robbie Bain from Australia. Uh, yeah. I'll get him next time. Is that surfer food? No. No, 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 definitely not. No. no. Small, Surfers small eat raw food. fish, don't you know that? You like seafood? <laughs> <laughs> you look like something out Back to the Future. You don't work in the movies, do you? No, I wish I did. What you got there? You're talking to the satellites or what? Um, no. My friend. Space, the space shuttle. Uh-oh, -uh, my friend. Your friend? Do you know you got a fly on top of your head? <laughs> Call ya. Here he goes, Richard Marsh takes the drop. On the open face, out onto the open face. Round out, sweeping cut back into the white water. A good strong move from Richard Marsh. Out onto the open face again. A big sweeping cut back again. Down the inside, right track. Like this. this was the cameraman. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, sometimes I was the cameraman. And sometimes, and sometimes the cameraman. there was a better cameraman on the job. You will notice all of his work. Eric Thiemann, thank you. Hey, Brett. Hi. Like I've skied for years too because my family used to take me skiing every year. And skiing's really great, but this is like skiing on a mountain that's moving or something. And it's you against the mountain and you're just ripping the mountain apart. But the mountain's attacking you too, you know. And skiing, you know, you're you're just attacking the mountain, but surfing this thing's after you. It wants to get you. Yo, stop, stop!